money, wealth, and abundance. Seems that the world is running around money, yet we have a lot of misconceptions when it comes to this tree, and I would like to address them in this video. Welcome, I am Sagi. Good to see you here. Let's take a deep breath for a second with what this money is. Hmm? It's definitely an energy and it's definitely an earthly energy. It's definitely what moves the current times and it's definitely a current. Money is currency. Currency shows us already that the meaning is about a flow. Money comes and money goes and money is being transcended money is being exchanged not only between people but between between people and merchandise between people and service and therefore money can never be a goal money is a mean or means to get a goal to receive what we want to reach a destination to fulfill a dream money in itself can never be a dream if we put money as a dream if we place it as being the goal and as a dream we are going to find ourselves circling around money and enslaving ourselves to that vicious cycle I have another thought on this matter for a second getting money making money is not enough in life right because when you're hungry it's not going to help you to eat money. If you need shelter, you cannot protect yourself under money. You need to buy something with that money. You need to exchange the value of what you have with the value of what you want. It being nutrition, it being um, um, information, it being protection, it being a space to live. You always need to exchange that. Therefore, money is not the end goal. Yet a lot of people tend to see it this way these days, and that keeps them in a vicious cycle. They don't see further than money itself. They lose perspective of life. They become numb to feelings, and they retreat into a dark hole that is running around their own tail, chasing their own tail. So I invite you guys to start remembering again what money is, which is a means of transportation, transforming something to another thing, transforming a body from one place to the next, transforming um, a service from one place to the next, transforming goods from one place to the next. This is what money is. And if we do, we take a moment and we do a zoom out. We expand awareness from money to something grander than that. Then we are reaching wealth. Now, wealth is a sensation, is an experience inside the body, right? The feeling that I can relax because I have enough. The feeling that I am wealthy means the feeling that I feel good, that I am not in lack. I can breathe in that space. I can feel secure in that space. I can relax into that space. Wealth is a sensation. It's an emotion. Yeah? And it can come from having enough money but actually, what it comes from is from having enough of what we perceive money can get us, right? Because if I have enough protection, I feel wealthy. If I have enough food, I feel wealthy. If, if I have enough to drink, if I have enough shelter, if I have enough friends, family, experiences, opportunities, I feel wealthy. Mm -hmm. So it is about stepping away from money 
not placing money in the center of things, rather understanding my goal is to reach something else and money can provide me a venue to reaching that goal. If I keep my focus on that goal and not on the venue, then I might find other venues to reach that goal. And once I reach that goal and I reach other goals, then I can feel wealthy. I can feel I have enough. I have a lot. And that allows me to start rolling the dice again and rolling the cycle over and giving from my abundance. This is when we reach abundance. This is a higher state of wealth. So we got money and then we got wealth and then we get abundance. Abundance fulfills all of them. Abundance contains money and wealth. Abundance is beyond just the physical wealth. It's about abundance of time. It's about abundance of experiences. Abundance of potentials. Potentials are abundance. The more I am aware of my potential in life, of what is possible for me to do, the more I expand my possibilities, I reach the sense of abundance. And abundance is a being rather than a doing. It's a place, it's a state. It's a state of mind and it's a state of being. I am abundant. I am also wealthy. But I am never money, right? Now, wealth is something that fluctuates. It comes and goes, right? But abundance never goes away. Because if I'm not abundant right now with money, maybe I'm, I don't have a job, then if I change my perspective, I will realize that I am abundant with time, that I am abundant with opportunities, that actually I have a lot of free space and of free time to grow into it, to start bringing something new to that space and to that time, rediscover myself, learn a new skill, develop something that uh, an old um, capabil capability of me, and then reach higher goals. So abundance is the opposite of lack. It's always there. It's always present. It's a state of being. And you are always welcome to be in that state. Always. Even if you lack the feeling of wealth and even if you lack money, you can still be in abundance when you choose to expand your consciousness and be aware of those non-physical things that exist in your life, like time, like love, like opportunities, like potential. So I invite you guys to expand yourself from money to wealth and from wealth to abundance and then zoom back in into money in order to make money and then again expand to wealth so you can share that experience so you can share that money so you can share your wealth whatever wealth it is and then expand again to the comfort state of abundance and again redirect yourself into the doing into the money into the physicality and again and again that cycle goes and it's yours from birthright Thank you for listening. All the best.